During this episode of Travel Photography, we're going to Yosemite National Park. Now it's still our first day in the park and at the end of the day, we need to go from Yosemite Valley up to Tuolumne Meadows where we're going to start our hike. Now our plan was to take the evening shuttle. The only problem? We needed to improvise. Alright, so here's the situation. We've got to get about two hours north of here to a place called Tuolumne Meadows to hike out tomorrow morning. Now our original plan was to catch a shuttle, but the problem is we found out there is not a shuttle. The shuttle only leaves once a day at 8 a.m. and we missed that hours ago. So we are hitchhiking, trying to hitchhike, to Tuolumne Meadows. So we are gonna find out if this works. It's kind of our backpacking rite of passage. Ooh, school bus would be cool. Getting some funny looks, but we've decided instead of putting our thumb up, the traditional hitchhiker, we've got our sign and we're flashing dollar signs because we're serious. We're willing to pay for this ride. So, so we'll find out if the, uh, if the cash is a good hitchhiking strategy. That's what we're trying to find out now. All right, so to make a long story short, that was not a good strategy and nobody picked us up. I guess three random guys sitting on the side of the road. I don't understand why we didn't get picked up. So we ended up spending the night in Yosemite Valley and caught the shuttle up to Tuolumne Meadows that next morning. Now we got a little bit later start than we'd planned, but we made it. The trip begins now. We are on our way to Vogelsong High Sierra Camp, 6.7 miles. We may go a little bit further than that, but we've got five days, four nights out in the back country at Yosemite National Park starting now. Now on this first day, we plan to cover about seven miles on our way to Vogelsang High Sierra Camp. And we've been planning this trip for almost a year, so we are excited to get out into the backcountry and find some spectacular scenery. We don't have to wait long at all to find this incredible view and scenery. This is exactly what we came here for. Seems like a good place to fill up our water and take it all in. So it's time to get back on the trail and make some miles. The cool thing about Yosemite is that there is a lot of water sources, which is obviously good for survival, but it also makes for some fun water crossings and photo ops. Now this is the part where I'll explain that it's not all easy going and great scenery on the trail. We had to cover a lot of ground, plus the extra steps to come back and get the camera at times. Now for a couple of guys from Texas and Louisiana, when you add in the elevation and the uphill climbs, we were feeling it. Or at least I was feeling it. This is when I got the trail name Turtle because I was super slow and my pack looked like a massive shell on my back. Matt, on the other hand, was going strong. As we keep pushing on, we start to see the landmarks for Vogelsang in the distance. However, it never comes easy, so for the last mile or so, we have to go through some pockets of remaining snow on the trail, which makes for some adventurous crossing and cool photo ops. But for the three of us old guys, we're just hoping not to slide down the mountain. Once we make that last pass through the snow, it's a straight shot to Vogelsang High Sierra Camp, which at this time of year isn't open yet, so we have the camp to ourselves. The only problem is that we're at about 10,000 feet and the temperature is gonna be a low of about 35 degrees at night. Did I mention that I'm from Texas? I don't do all that well with the cold. Now please subscribe to PhotographyTV.com on YouTube and stay tuned for our next video where we pick up where we left off and we go from Vogelsang down towards Merced Lake. The scenery only gets better from here.